everyone told me it would be tough. Everyone told me I would struggle. Everyone told me I'd like, you know, have uh, late nights of staying up and coding and just, you know, frustration abounding, right? And no one said it would be easy, but people said it would, it would be fun, especially in hindsight, it was amazing. Personally, I did not really consider other boot camps in the sense that uh, as soon as I started looking around, even just briefly, it was evident that all the other boot camps were significantly cheaper, but also didn't have the same level of uh, uh, intensity that I think the Hack Reactor boot camp brings to the table, where it is a immersive boot camp. The other boot camps didn't have that, um, that feel to it the actual boot camp like basic training in the military style uh you know hardcore approach to learning and and the amount of effort that was required and i really wanted to challenge myself so ultimately i looked very briefly at the others and was like well the, the choice is pretty pretty clear if you had a choice between operating system going with uh Mac OS X or uh, whatever version of that will be significantly um, easier, m more in tune with the Hack Reactor program as they teach it. In terms of hardware, um, the quality of life associated with things like uh, the ergonomics of your keyboard and mouse, because you're spending eight to 10 hours on the computer all day, uh, the amount of monitors you have and the amount of distractions you have all play a very uh, uh, like clear role in your success, both preparing for and succeeding in the boot camp. Um, I ended up going through Hack Reactor on a 13 inch laptop uh, and that was it. No second monitor. Uh, my setup was scrambled because I attended Hack Reactor at the uh, outbreak of COVID here in the United States in March or the accelerating period of that. So uh, all over the place, my setup was like half of my setup was in Oakland, half of it was with me in San Francisco and I didn't get a chance to go get it, did everything on the laptop. That made it really tricky. Uh, so you want to have, you know, a nice keyboard and mouse. You want to have at least a second screen if you, if like ideally, uh, because you will be working with people on zoom and you will have your code and being able to uh improve the social connection especially if you're doing a remote program being able to see and talk to people simultaneous to coding with them as hack reactor will in the program be almost entirely uh paired programming or team programming being able to see them makes a big difference um lastly your your physical context the there were uh i was fortunate enough to have my own space to go through the program especially remote if you are going to be in person the context is decided for you and the environment that hack reactor sets up is great but i don't actually have any personal experience with that i've just heard from all the prior cohorts that going in person was amazing if you are in a small household with a lot of people a lot of distractions pets uh you live by an airport i mean you're probably pretty used to the airport at that point but the amount of distraction that you can limit for hack reactor does uh provide a uh it is detrimental to be particularly distracted it requires a lot of focus so uh the environment in terms of your software your hardware and your physical environment are all important to your success both pre and during hack reactor A consistent routine, uh, especially if you can get into a consistent routine before Hack Reactor of getting up at the same time every day, because six of the days of the week, you will be getting up at the same time to attend Hack Reactor, whether that means uh, commuting to the campus or signing into Zoom and joining everyone for the morning Zoom session. 
um, you will have a very consistent schedule at the start of your day. So if you can prepare yourself for Hack Reactor by um, waking up, uh, ideally some sort of uh, exercise, I think that's one of the things that ends up being really important to success in Hack Reactor is taking care of yourself. I'm going to harp on that constantly. Mentally and physically taking care of yourself is key to your success both before and during and after the boot camp. Uh, it sort of goes for anything, but Hack Reactor is an intense environment where the, uh, the difference that taking care of yourself makes can really be measured. By having an effective morning routine that you can stick to, you drastically simplify the amount of effort that you have to expend on getting ready for the day. Uh, and you can focus yourself in that uh, three hour window, I would say, give yourself at least two and a half to three hours after that morning where you can focus on your code. Uh, absolutely shamelessly leaning on people for help. Uh, this is something that I, I knew about myself uh, in college, even since high school, really. Uh, and I'm 26, I guess it's not very fair to make that sound like it was like six decades ago or something. Uh, but uh, I've always been someone who struggles with the classroom style teaching and lectures. It's just hard to keep up. But I would inevitably identify someone who knew more than me. Uh, that's easy when you're in Hack Reactor. They're your technical mentors and your seers. They are there because they know more than you and they're there to help you. So I would relentlessly pester my seers and my technical mentors and bombard them with any and all questions. I entirely lost my sense of like shame or like, <laughs> you know, oh, it's a, it's a Friday night at 9 p.m. Maybe I should leave them alone. Nope, I'm sitting there asking all sorts of questions about React and like, how does this work? And I'm still confused. And, um, you know, they would sit down with me for an hour and a half at 9 p.m. sometimes. I would be sitting there working one-on-one -on -one with the people who were there to help me. And making use of that is something that I think people uh, don't do quite enough because there is the sense of bothering someone. There is some sense of, you know, being an inconvenience that I automatically associate with asking any and all questions and asking for help. And, and I had to overcome that. So using those resources, leaning on your technical mentors and your seers for things that they know and it's their job to teach you. The last people to leave the campus at night, 11.30 p.m., midnight, 12.30, 1 in the morning, those tended to be the people who found the jobs the quickest and ended up making the most money. Now, that isn't to say that's a guarantee, of course. This is just a correlation. But there is this idea that the amount of dedication that you can give to Hack Reactor will give back in many ways as well. The more time you spend coding and working on the Hack Reactor process, the, the further into that three-year mark you are in terms of the actual experience you have coding. Condensed, of course, into 12 weeks, but if you're doing 1,000 hours in 12 weeks, that's pretty freaking impressive and will get you much closer to that three-year experience mark, which will come across very effectively in an interview. So the sort of student who is uh, a designated as a high achiever in Hack Reactor is very much um, is very much someone who is willing to dedicate all the time, like a whatever it takes attitude, where you have just completely cleared your schedule, you aren't concerned about seeing friends or family, you have one job and one job only, and that is to just crush Hack Reactor. Um, but those tended to be, to be people who did the best. There's a flip side to that though, in a, because those also were the most technical. The other people who would succeed very effectively were the people who did the best on the Sunday test. The Sunday test is this idea when you're interviewing, the interviewer asks, well, if I had to come to work and work on an emergency on a Sunday and I had to work with this person, would I be excited by that? Or would I be kind of bummed because not only is my Saturday ruined, but I got to work with Maxim now, you know? Uh, that test, that sort of personality test, uh, also incredibly important in terms of your success. 
So there's the technical and the and the social aspect to coding because coding is not you know this guy sitting in his like dark room with his hood up like tapping on a keyboard. It is very much a team activity that is just never done by one person. And anything that's done by one person is bound to have a lot of uh, blind spots and issues. So you have to be able to work well as a team. And if you have the dedication to do whatever it takes technically and learn everything and spend that time, and also have the social skills to be an effective team member or ideally a team leader and a follower when the time is necessary, uh, you're going to be great. That's what's up here. Get your sleep schedule down. Find a book that, well, maybe not a book. Find a source of entertainment that is lighthearted and easy to put down and easy to pick up. Um, and probably build a routine around getting outside at least twice a day. Uh, and those would be the three things I would say because um, in many ways, the, the couple days before Hack Reactor are very stressful. And if you can carry those habits through the stressful moment right before Hack Reactor, it makes it so much easier to continue them for the first week and then the second week. And then after that, it just, it makes the whole process so much smoother when you have like this moment where you can get outside, get some fresh air, get some sunshine. I personally would like walk around for 30 minutes listening to like podcasts on whatever. Um, that sort of stuff, finding those short-term quick escapes, so, so valuable. And the sooner you set up those habits, the more resilient they will be in the face of the craziness that is Hack Reactor. There is plenty of room for error, but you have to be able to make those errors and then grow your skills from those errors by sitting down, reflecting on what you did wrong and all sorts of stuff like that. They do not expect you to be able to ace everything. Now, the stronger you are in the basics, the, the less you have to focus on that. So you do not need to know everything. Uh, you should definitely go in uh, knowing as much as you can. That will always benefit you. But uh, any of the, like, especially if you're 90% plus, you're going to do just fine with, the, with that level of fundamentals. And you'll pick up the last 10% as you code 10 to 12 hours of JavaScript a day. Mm -hmm.